These are the scars Rono Sagawa sustained after what he said was torture by Ugandan security agents. His crime, supporting the opposition. By now, they had a gas cylinder flame, which is used for heating steel bars. The steel bars are extremely heated, that when pressed on you, you will end up saying everything. They put it on my belly when it was red hot. The pain was excruciating, and the man insisted that I will confess. The man then brought a pair of pliers and used it to pluck out my fingernails. A police spokesperson said Sagawa was beaten after attempting to snatch a phone, yet he was never charged. The 22-year-old is one of hundreds of government critics and opposition supporters detained and tortured in the last three years, especially around the 2021 presidential vote, US-based Human Rights Watch said on Tuesday. Its 62-page report was the latest in a list of such accusations against Uganda, which receives hefty funding and security assistance from Western nations. They see President Yoweri Museveni as an ally against jihadists. In power since 1986, he won the 2021 poll against pop star-turned-politician Bobby Wine. This was an interview with Reuters recently. I'm really surprised if anybody would do Again, use those methods. Yeah. Because I called all the police leaders, I called the, the army people, mm-hmm. distributed my, my guidelines widely. And my guidelines are not, are not new, they are only sort of analyzing mm-hmm. the usefulness of the existing standing orders, mm-hmm. which are already there but not followed. Mm. Responding to the Human Rights Watch report, military spokesperson Brigadier Felix Kolaiji and police spokesperson Fred Inunga said torture was not tolerated with culprits prosecuted when caught. They did not immediately provide data for that. However, Human Rights Watch said Museveni's government was condoning arbitrary arrests and abuse. Ex-detainees reported being raped beaten, electrocuted or injected with unknown substances. Oriem Nienko is a researcher from Human Rights Watch. I only need justice because that's something that victims kept telling us. Uh, and what justice means is it's different for different people. For some people it means that the people who, who did this to them should be taken to court, they should be held accountable. But for many of them they are still suffering today with health challenges, because of the physical torture, the psychological torture, and they need uh, that to be addressed.